Hello friends, I recently cleared my Snowflake certification at first attempt. I wanted to score nearly 100% but made a couple of silly mistakes. Hence, I decided to share my learning and my mistake experience via these video tutorials and help others to score 100% in this Snowflake SnowPro course certification exam. Snowflake is the future of cloud native data warehouse, if not forever, at least for next 5 to 7 years for sure. And Snowflake certification holds a lot of value in the market. So your choice is right. If you find this tutorial series meaningful and time saving for your exam preparation, please subscribe to my channel and share your experience via the comment box. I recommend you to watch my important video covering complete preparation guide on the certification exam. So today we are going to discuss DB migration planning traditional data warehouse to Snowflake for the Snowflake SnowPro certification. Why this subject area is important? Migration planning is not a subject area and it is not listed in the syllabus. But I got two questions during the certification exam and hence I decided to take this topic and describe it. Since cloud platform promises to save a lot of cost, the total cost of ownership for the platform reduces drastically if implemented correctly. And that's why during the Snowflake SnowPro certification, they throw one or two questions around this migration concept and the migration planning. There are a couple of steps which do not work in the Snowflake, but it works very well in traditional data warehouse systems like constraint, indexes, etc. And you'll be asked some questions around them in a tricky fashion during the certification exam. So I hope you would like this small, quick video on the migration planning. If you look into the detailed certification syllabus, the migration planning is not listed. However, there are Snowflake architecture and there are cloud platform. And if you see the Snowflake overview architecture, catalog and object and security, these are the important concept which an architect or the data engineering team must understand when planning the migration activities. I have just one slide. Uh, there are some key things to remember. These are just a conceptual item. There is nothing technical as such. So first one is that Snowflake uses role-based access control and hence inventory of all the following must be created when you start your migration planning. So for example, all the database objects need to be migrated, security role and permission, security provisioning and data sensitivity, and as is architectural diagram for your existing database. So once this inventory is created, you are ready to analyze it Then how the respective functions works in Snowflake. Then you create a 2B architecture diagram. And in that, you list processes which need to be migrated as is. So there are objects, there are components which you want to migrate as is, and it is also supported in Snowflake. List processes which need to be re-engineering. So not every concept works equivalently in Snowflake. So you may need to re-engineer or you want to get a benefit out of Snowflake's new features. And that's why you want to re-engineer them. List processes which need to be fixed. So there are areas in your legacy system which need to be fixed. And during this migration, you would like to fix them. Delivery faster value to the business. Snowflake pay as you go environment, SaaS platform. And your business is funding this platform because you want to get a value out of that. So this is one of the important concepts. So what is recommended by the Snowflake itself that avoid single big bank approach and use incremental delivery approach. This kind of questions may come as a true or false during the exam. Capture the development and deployment process. Since Snowflake is a warehouse system, okay uh, it all it does not support a couple of deployment processes and it has created an ecosystem around it so as a architect or as a data engineer team you need to make sure that you also consider the development and deployment processes and plan accordingly like prod pre-prod and test environment etc and what is your ci cd tool etc for the development and deployment processes Prioritize data set for migration. So what is Snowflake recommend that don't go for your complex data engineering pipeline. Pick something which is relatively simple and mature as you iterate through the process. So these are the only conceptual things which you need to remember for the exam. And many of the things are non-technical and it is primarily a conceptual model which you have to have in your mind. Let's go through some of the sample questions and I have a disclaimer here. These are just a mock representation from my exam experience and just indicative. I recommend that you follow the current syllabus as well as the Snowflake documentation as it evolves over a period of time. 
So the first question, which of these items are necessary when preparing to migrate a data warehouse to the cloud? And it is a multiple select questions. Pause the screen and think through. When preparing for migration, what is the objective of the examining the current process and the data structure? Identify the false statement. So it is also that one of the choice is uh, right as per the questions and rest of them are wrong. So please pause the screen and go through. Which of the following cannot be migrated or administered using the user interface and Snowflake? A simple one. Which of the following cannot be migrated in Snowflake? So pause the screen and think through. Snowflake support defining and maintaining constraint, but does not enforce them. It is a true false question. So let's go through the answers. Which of these items are necessary when preparing to migrate a data warehouse to the cloud? So all the above. So there were four options above in the last one, and uh, it goes with the fifth one. When preparing for migration, what's the objective of examining the current processes and the data structure? So figuring out how to eliminate the testing phase is the false one. Which of the following cannot be migrated or administered using the user interface in Snowflake? So stored procedures cannot be monitored through the user interface. Which of the following cannot be migrated in Snowflake? So indexes cannot be migrated in Snowflake. Snowflake support defining and maintaining constraint, but does not enforce them. True, you can define the constraint like unique primary key. However, it does not enforce and you can really, really insert a duplicate record. And that's why Snowflake gives one or two questions around the migration planning because some of the concepts are revalidated during the certification exam. There is no specific documentation available in the Snowflake uh, doc page. So I have put some of this Snowflake ecosystem because there are a lot of ecosystem components are there. Data warehouse to data lake migration. There is a video published by Snowflake itself. And there is a migration blog which is available in their community page. Thank you for watching this video and wish you all the best for your Snowflake SnowPro core certification exam. If you find any incorrect information or incorrect answer or inappropriate explanation, please share your feedback via the comment section and I will try to rectify it.